like a shake weight commercial. All right, that time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And guess what? We just hit a milestone on my channel. This is the 1 million subscriber video. So let's get to it. That scenery is outstanding AF, the Eastern Woodlands. Okay, so we hit a milestone after 14 long years. This is my 1 million subscriber video. So guess what? I'm going to go all out for you guys, just like the old days. Let's get to it. Tie the hood in a knot right here to ensure that nothing slips through when I fill her up. Yeah, and for those complaining, he should go back to his roots and do what he does best. Here you go. Happy one millionth. I love you too. Only 75 more to go. Uh, still tastes like crap and plastic. Got the old NBC cap right there. A little triangle on the bottom says it's chemically safe or safe plastic. Most likely not. I'm thinking some sort of dugout shelter. I brought good clay over here from a swampy area. We're elevated here. It's not a good idea to build down here because while I rain, everything goes downhill. But the soil and clay is perfect. So I'm going to bring that over here and then dig down slightly here. The idea is less digging here and then build walls upward. And it should equal the same as doing like four foot deep. So something like that. Or... Maybe I'll get lazy and do a skirmisher trench. I don't know. Who knows? <sighs> yeah. A lot of work ahead of me.
If you like what you see here, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Looks like I've been playing in caca. Um, one down, one to go. Drop a log right here, sandwich it together like a windscreen, and then pack her in, and then get our tarp over the system right here.
guess I'll go ahead and lean this against a rock or something. Come back in 10, 15 minutes. And here we go. Got the old close-up going here for a beefy chili mac from Self-Reliance Outfitters. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff. Tell you what, I am happy with this. And yes, it's on my affiliate page in the description box. Catch you all in a few. Mm. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page, and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. No heater inside here as far as a fireplace, but you see that right there. That's that Mr. Heater Buddy. Runs off one of those green tanks. This was sent to me, and at first I thought, that's just a hunk of crap. It's too big to be carrying around, blah, 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 whatever. But just with that door closed and with that poncho, I guarantee you I'm going to be burned out of here tonight. It's probably already 70 degrees inside here, just with that in the corner. And the back side over here is vented as well. There's actually an opening. So oxygen is coming inside here. It's actually passing through. But the heat is just going up and coming right back down. So from the ground to the top of this log right here, we're looking at probably about three and a half feet. I can sit up in here, and I'm happy with that. So we'll talk about this shelter in the morning. Um, but I just want you guys aware of what I'm actually experimenting with, and that's that heater right there. And when I say we, I mean us. The subscribers, the viewers, people that actually take the time to watch my videos. Uh, 14 years is a long time. Some have been here since the very beginning, and I appreciate that. Some are newcomers, and I'm going to say welcome aboard. Uh, the channel has not been without its problems. Um, people trying to take on my channel, people trying to get rid of my channel, people trying to slow my channel down, people trying to report my channel, um, but it comes with the territory. And to me it means a lot to actually pass that milestone and have the one million. You don't get any more subscribers, you don't get any more money, you don't get any more circulation. And from what I've seen, they actually the circulation gets slowed down. Um, but for me it means something because I'm part of a basically a community that's a small niche. Um, Bushcraft and survival, it's this big, it's a butt hair in the world of YouTube. And for them to let me slip through, I guess you could say, then I'm going to take it as a win. So I'm happy with that. And again, thank you to all of you for watching and continuing to watch. Now we'll talk about this shelter in the morning. Again, I'm very happy with it. It's insulated, it's blocking the wind, and I'm getting ready to get burned out of here. So the problem with this is there's no way to adjust the heat. You put it in there, you hold it, the pilot for says 30 seconds really it's like 10 you let go of it and it goes so we're just pumping heat off and i have no idea how long that canister is going to take to burn out but it's supposed to drop down to maybe 35 tonight but it's probably 70 plus in here right now i'll bring the thermometer uh, out of my backpack here in a little bit and we'll hook it up and we'll check that bad boy in the morning so on that note thank you once again and i'll catch you all in the morning so yes, I know some are going to see that meal and say, you know, it sucked, but it was actually pretty good. I wanted to eat something like that and not go all out. Um, believe me, it's we'll go out in the morning because I want to make sure I, you know, I'm going to eat well. You watch my channel, you know I eat well. But I wanted to eat something as close as I could to an MRE because we built this fighting hole, this skirmisher trench, and I just wanted to relive the old days for a little bit. So on that note, now I'll catch you all in the morning.
right, so this Mr. Heater buddy is doing his job. It's 70 degrees inside here. Um, I'm happy with that. So is it kind of bulky? It is. That's one of the smaller ones. But it did its job, and that one canister actually lasted a good six hours. So it should be pretty much empty right now. The downside, I mentioned it already, what I don't like is there's no way to adjust the heat on there. So say I wanted to conserve, I can't. i got to turn it off. But something small like this, it trapped the heat, and it worked out well. Just like the good old days, tell you what. Uh, time for fire watch, huh? Right. secret weapon is Tabasco. It's like a shake weight commercial. Nothing like spam and eggs in the morning. Dunkin' Donuts coffee, always outstanding. All right, so the coffee press I just used, my mess kit, and the meals you saw yesterday, the one I had for dinner, I believe there's like eight or nine of those, might be more, um, are all found on my Self-Alliance Outfitters affiliate page or influencer page in my description box, so check that out. Now let's talk about this shelter. Um, I'm happy with this, a simple dugout shelter. We reinforced the side walls with logs and then packed at least at the bottom here, about two foot of earth, clay, all around it to go ahead and seal her up and actually keep that heat or trap that heat inside. Simple tarp on top here, and we covered the front and the back, used our heater, and bumped it up to 70 degrees. So I'm happy with that. And there you go, a simple dugout shelter in the woods. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. Okay, so 1 million subscriber video. This is not really a final thought. It is, but it's more of an observation. It's been a long haul. And what most don't know is that my intro, people always tell me, it's dated, change it. I'm not going to, and here's why. The late, great Ultimate Warrior, 
I was a follower of his YouTube channel years back, um, mid 2000s, before he died. Um, and he was a motivational speaker. I hit him up a few times with some questions about stuff. I'm a huge fanboy. Um, him and uh, Macho Man, boom. Um, cup of coffee in the big time. Um, <clears throat> made my childhood. And he had an intro. It was cool. I liked it. And so he said, hey, let me look at your channel. And he went in and looked at it, and he sent me that intro. So that came from The Ultimate Warrior. That's why I keep it on there. Same as the outro. I have my son. He was probably about seven or eight years old going across the rope bridge. Um, I'm always going to keep that because that was a good day for me. That was one of, one of the you know, happier times, and it was, it was great. Um, we built that together, and he crossed it. Now, where am I going with this? On his channel, Ultimate Warrior, he had something that he wanted to create, One World Nation, okay? Or One Warrior Nation, sorry. Um, <clears throat> and in one of his videos, he talks about doing the work of your life, okay? Something you're good at, something you believe in, something that can influence and help others do the work of your life. And if you're not, you're basically wasting your life, you're wasting your time, you're coming home to a house that you don't like, it's falling apart, to a family that doesn't want you or you don't want to be part of, or they don't want nothing to do with you. You're just blowing money all over town on crap, you're sitting there watching TV, being fat, nasty, lazy, um, things that are just killing yourself, you know, just, and he called it Mr. Ugly. <coughs> and what that was is a voice in your head, and I get it too. Whenever I'm going to go film or go work out or go do something, there's a voice that tells me, oh, another hour, another hour. Try to get in about, you know, a couple hours. Oh, we can always do it tomorrow. Well, it's always there to deter you from what you're supposed to be doing. So take this concept, what we're talking about here, the Mr. Ugly, and think about your life and apply that to your relationship, to your job, your personal finances, your saving for retirement. Do I need to buy, you know, 10 of these when two will suffice? Mr. Ugly will always be there trying to deter you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. So today, take that first step. Wake up, get up, and step out and start doing the work of your life. Tell Mr. Ugly to get effed and do the work of your life. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.